Hello everybody, this is Jesse Geiger here, and uh, today I'd like to talk to you about my 3D printed TPU wallet. This journey started um, about a year ago as I searched and searched everywhere for a wallet that met the specifications I require in a wallet, and I could not find anything. The first aspect that I needed was it to be thin. Um, the other wallets, uh, the much thicker wallets, just were extremely uncomfortable for me in my back pocket. It made me sit sideways, uh, it hurt my back. I could just really tell that it was there in my pocket, and I didn't like that. Uh, second of all, um, it needed to be wide enough. Uh, so I could fit euro bills in there because you know the, the euro bills uh, are very wide um, So this fits the euro bills uh, As well as uh, receipts you get from the store. They're usually pretty wide and I can fit them in here without folding them uh, Second of all it needed to be long enough this way so I could fit um, American dollar bills in there without folding them um, also, the way the cards go in, they are locked in there. Once you close it, they can't come out. Um, a lot of wallets, if you put them in this way, and then you close the wallet, well, they just kind of fall out the side. <clears throat> also, it just needed to be super durable and uh, as you know, TPU is very durable, uh, scratch resistant, and tear resistant, um, and it needed to be stylish. And I think uh, I think this wallet's got that covered. Well, let's talk about some of the features of this wallet. the The back of this wallet, this piece right here, is ironed in such a way that makes it very nice to the touch. It's nice and supple and soft. It feels uh, feels like, like fabric. Um, I was trying to mimic the feel of leather because I, I like the feel of leather. Um, and this comes pretty close. It's really nice, nice to feel. It's got a nice slap to it. Also the pockets have the same nice finish. Uh, the inner part here is uh, printed downward on the bed, so it's got the, uh, the pattern of the bed, which I specifically got this pattern because I like the way it looked. Okay, so this back piece, it actually has a layer of Titan RF, uh, RFID blocking Faraday fabric. It has a layer of this in between there, so the wallet is RFID blocking. Uh, here is a back piece uh, printed in transparent brown, um, so you can see through and see the actual uh, fabric in there. And this is amazing to me. I can... Uh, pull as hard as I can <clears throat> and it's fine <clears throat> I mean so I take this I ring it ring it up <clears throat> and well it's fine it doesn't even stretch with this metal fabric in there I mean it does get a little wrinkly but It is very, very durable. And that's inside all of the wallets. So in here, I don't want to show my, my license, but I have my license in here. And uh, I've got this coin holder um, that just I can carry around some 
euro coins and that's that's pretty thick as it is um, but it works and then I've got uh, three cards over here and um, yeah I've got some bills in here so when I take all of this out it's uh, it's pretty dang thin so let's go to about the middle here 3.23 millimeters and check back here up here maybe at the edges here it's a little thicker when you include the edges 4.2 over here so yeah it's pretty dang thin 4.4 4.5 millimeters thick so this itself is 2.75 grab my other cards here 3 this way let's put this in here okay and we'll put my put my license in here and then we'll put my license in here Put these other cards in here. Let's put the money in here. Close this up. So we've got a thickness of about 10, 10.5, I'd say. No, 11 from this side. And I think that's that's pretty thin given all the stuff that's in there with the coin card and everything um, now we compare it to say a wallet like this that I uh, bought on Aliexpress the thinnest wallet that I could find <laughs> um, let's see it starts at about the same thickness as my wallet with nothing in it at all. Oof. It does have a coin zip pocket, but uh, I don't need that many coins. Me personally. Now, this was another thin wallet that uh, I got right before. I was like, wow, that's super thin. <laughs> it's not really. About the same thickness. No. With nothing in it. And that very quickly adds up when you start adding the cards. This wallet was uh, my daily driver for quite a long time. This thing. 13. Yeah. And that's, again, nothing in it right now. So, another wallet that I used for quite a long time was this uh, Mighty Wallet Mini. Uh, the uh, it's made of Tyvek material. Um, it's pretty pretty durable, um, and the thickness was just just like I liked it. Uh, it was pretty thin. Uh, let's see, it's about 2.83 something. Yeah. And uh, that was great, the thickness was great, but I had some issues with it. So first of all, the, the card slot here, uh, you put your cards in there and then they would just fall out. Uh, several times I had all my cards in here and I'd do something weird and whoosh, they would all fly out, which was not cool. Uh, second of all, if I grab a, a dollar right here, um, the, the money, they wouldn't, 
it doesn't fit. So you'd have to, to fold it in half and then you'd end up with some awkward size and then ultimately you would just have a, a wad of cash in here and it would get super thick quickly. Okay, so I've got a bunch of cards here and I just wanted to demonstrate that uh, you can fit quite a bit of cards in here. So one, two, three, four, five. Now when you do put ten cards in here, it is a little tight. but. It works. I mean, I also still have a bunch of stuff in here, but it fits 10 cards. 3D printed TPU wallet. I only find a few things and I just, there's nothing really like my wallet. So, I mean, we look at, let's see. Um, for example, this one. This is printed upright and it's just really thick. Let's check this one out. Yeah, that's printed upright and, uh, oof, yeah, that's, that's not what I like it's not very good okay I guess maybe let's look at images oops yeah there's just uh, not much they're all super thick that's kind of thick Yeah, they all seem to be printed upright and not the way I'm doing mine. I mean, just look how thick that is. That's, that's insane. I don't know. You guys, let me know if you've seen any other wallets that are as thin and as good looking as, as mine. Um, I would love to see if there is anything like that. It did take quite a bit of work to get this refined to this point. Um, kind of embarrassed to show, but this is all of my failed attempts at getting the back the way yeah, perfected. A lot of failed attempts and uh, a lot of trial and error here. Um, and that, this is just a <laughs> part of it. Uh, I also have a bunch of old wallets uh, that I when I first started um, was actually hand soldering all the edges and the pockets and uh, the process that I've got now uh, is is much much better and much much stronger uh, I will be selling these on my Etsy page um, the link will be in the description um, they do take some time to make, um, so I'll be making them to order, and uh, so if I get a few orders, um, it might take a little bit for me to uh, finish them and get them shipped out, um, but if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to leave them down in the comments, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video.